Hey guys, it's me. It's time to remake one of my most popular soaps, so I thought I would show you guys how it's done. Today I'm remaking my dragon soap. It's one of my pure coconut uh, soaps made from just coconut milk and coconut oil. And this one is black. Um, I use activated charcoal, so it's a black color. And it's got this really interesting fragrance called dragon's blood. So we're gonna make that one today. Let's get to it. So the ingredients for this soap are pretty straightforward. Here we have our oil, and as I said, this is pure coconut uh, soap, so it's just the coconut oil. Um, over here I have my dragon's blood fragrance. Here I have my coconut milk, which I freeze in ice cube trays. Um, when you add the lye to the coconut milk, it can heat up quite a bit, and it can even burn if it's uh, at room temperature, I've found, which I don't think affects the soap really, it just kind of can affect the color. Um, so I like to freeze my coconut milk. I'll add my lye into this and um, dissolve it that way. And then I have some uh, white kale and clay, which I like in this soap. And then the black color will come from activated charcoal. So that's it. The first thing I'll do is blend up my uh, lye with my coconut milk and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna add my clay and my activated charcoal here first. I'd like to blend these into the oil before I add my lye mixture. This coconut soap can set up really quickly and so I might not have time once the lye mixture is in there. So I'll just give this a little blend. <laughs> See how black it already turns from the activated charcoal. I'm also going to add my fragrance oil now, again, because I don't want any surprises later. Okay, so now that my oil is blended and mixed with the clay and activated charcoal, I'm going to add my lye mixture. This is the lye with the melted ice cubes. The lye already thickens up because of the fat content that's in the coconut milk. It's already turning, starting to turn to soap. Okay, we'll give this a blend. Um, the coconut soaps can set up really quickly. It's not always what I found. It's kind of, you never know, but we'll blend this up since there's no, you know, colors or designs. I'm going to let it go to a pretty thick trace and then we'll get it in the mold. Okay, that actually took quite a while to set up. You really never know with these coconut soaps. All right, I will get the mold and we'll get this poured. Okay, so it's still just a little bit fluid uh, to create a um, textured top. So I'm just going to wait a little bit until it firms up a bit and then we'll texture it. Okay, let's see. Yep, we are actually thicker than I expected. We'll do a quick little texture here. My experience with coconut soaps is that they set up very, very fast and they're actually ready to cut very fast. I think I will stick this in the fridge and it will probably be ready to cut in two or three hours. They really 
set up quickly. If you leave them overnight, it'll just crumble apart when you try to cut it. Woo, this was thicker than I thought. I left it for about 10 minutes from when I poured it just now. But that's okay. Let's see, maybe another little thing on this side here. Let's see. Okay. I think that's gonna be it for our dragon soap. Let's see if I can. Pretty cool. I'll show you the top here. So, I think you can see it. Let me move around a little bit. All right, so we'll put this into the fridge and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready to cut.